a new dawn is at hand. The old ways are diminished. Only corruption and deception remain. But one rises above all others, falsely claiming salvation. They gather disciples to take all for themselves. And those who defy this deity suffer. They become servants to pain, imprisoned in solitude, barely existing. Yet only those who have been chosen possess the gift to reclaim what has been taken by the unworthy keeper. Only they can commit to such a burden. If they are able, their pledge shall be rewarded. With salvation.
Bearer, you bring a dangerous affliction before me, yet I smell fear upon your flesh. You may approach. Who is the woman that speaks before me? An interrogation will not serve you well. Your heart is murky and unworthy of the mercy of the lady of the manor, Helenia. My lady. You speak with respect, only now as I reveal myself to you. But your curse will always burden you. Many others like you have dwelled here in the manor. I feel a familiarity with this place. A pull I cannot explain. Many would implore me to seek freedom. But freedom is not this life's ultimate treasure. Understanding is what I seek. As do I. Then seek it. Return to me with your findings and experiences, cursed one. And through our understanding, you shall be bolstered yet. And pray, would you do me a kindness in turn? What would you ask of me? I have callings elsewhere, yet I remain. I yearn for this place, for those here with me. If you discover a teacup most blessed on your travels, deliver it to me. For a lady cannot remain in one place for so long. There are whispers throughout the manor. Whispers that reveal secrets. Spells. You will come to understand soon enough. Is a strange manner. Pray, tell me more. A place of ancient splendor. Home of the Oxnavilles. Now forever tainted by the ones who called it home. Through twistedness and bad omen. 
people sought solitude. But alas, it is a blessing that I cannot share. Yet, now you are here, like many before you who have been drawn to these hallowed walls. What is this place? Ah, a wanderer. Around these parts. You truly have hardy blood coursing through your veins. Blood that I regretfully do not possess. I am Mark, and this here liquor is my courage. This liquid keeps my heart beating. The only way to heat up my sunless world. This curse has shackled me to shadow. Away from my beloved Mithringal. Mithringal. Tell me of this place. I recall my days in Mithringal with fondness, dear wanderer. Yet it is a city that now exists merely in my dreams. The contamination smote what I held most dear. The cloud still holds the city hostage. Hence why I remain here. With no hope of forgetting. Despair and distrust has overwhelmed the people. Just like our ancestors, we squabble and doubt each other's loyalty. We've not learned from their mistakes. I know of a man. He sought to rid us of such chaos. It is seldom that one steps forward to do what is right. They call him Herman. You must seek him out before your indisposition takes you. Tell me how to find him. I cannot. The path is clouded. My eyes fail me. Here, I bestow this weapon upon you. What do they call you? Ah, you are branded. Eric, it will help protect your body. Your heart, I fear, may not be so fortunate. Take this key. I hope you find a use for it, for I am finished. Mithringal. Tell me. I recall my days in Mithringal with fondness, dear wanderer. Yet it is a sit despair and... Surely you must... If I were to leave, it would challenge the despicable power that controls our beloved Mithringal. A terrifying power no one dares to test. And that includes you.
my lady, why do you push such a heavy burden? This carriage is no burden. Not compared to that which weighs upon my mind. The presence of children. They are supreme and need protection. Only this carriage can provide such sanctuary. They are scattered throughout this world. And there are many away from this land of toil where they will forever be safe. Find them and I shall show you enormous gratitude.
Eh? Something catches your eye? Your wares are of no interest to me. Pity. Surely you require a, an instrument to protect yourself. This place is an unforgiving one. My darling daughter was not so fortunate. My heart is weighed down with my grief. Nevertheless, it is a heart that would surely be lightened with a purchase. Regret is not something you will feel. What is your daughter's fate to be? It is a heavy price, but one demanded by the church. A church with prejudice against its own congregation, sucking the hope out of us all. She is in the chains of these wretched people. I must resign myself to a fate of a hunt, an all-consuming pursuit of those who hold her. I must. Your purchase will be gratefully received, and will return a mere fraction of the warmth to my heart. So, what say you? But be quick, my time is limited, and I must relinquish my daughter from the hell she's in. Hmm.
unable to spread my wings. I need assistance. You're a
Sir, allow me to assist you. Ah! Uh, stay back, scoundrel! This is no place for a traveller. What a boneheaded thing to do. You could have gotten yourself killed, laddie. This is your abode? I know of a much safer place. You pulling the wool over me eyes, laddie? No, it is a safe place for many. A place free of scourge. For now, at least. Aye, I've heard whispers of it. But only whispers. Gives me the shivers it does. How do I know that I can trust you and the words you speak? You aren't one of those... things. Hmm. Perhaps you're concealing yourself. It's exactly the manner of deception I'd expect. You could be after me artifacts. Technology many would marvel at. I assure you, I am merely seeking to find my way. I suppose it's the best offer I'll get. Aye, be seeing you at the manor. I suppose it's the best.
I do not wish to be disturbed. My apologies, yet I cannot help but notice your anguish. Not anguish, but an acceptance of the truth that has evaded me for so long. Tell me, what are you? Eric. I know whom you are, but what is your purpose here? Prayer. Yourself? To mourn. Seek refuge. Many here do. It's a place of acceptance. Finality. Forced upon us by the people up high to save themselves from ailment. A callous man haunts it. One who will doom us all in the end. So I have accepted my fate and became familiar with where I am destined to be, right here. I cannot continue my life until my husband is at peace. This is impossible without the flowers, only found in the sea city. I fear I will never be able to place them here with my beloved. It is a dangerous path, but one your strong heart can sustain. Will you bring them to me, Eric?
It seems you were right, laddie. This place sure did come up with the goods. Fancy anything you see?